Do you guys remember Ferris Bueller? Hey Purple Road, we are here in Carmel and oh my gosh, it's so exciting. There's so much going on right now. Lots of energy in these streets because it's car week. In August, there's um, one week where we celebrate Concourse de Elegance. And so it's so much fun. You're gonna see a lot of exotic cars. There is no doubt that supercars are very powerful. You can drive them very fast. Let's switch gears and show you breathtaking sculptures that will lift your spirit up into the sky. Welcome to Dawson Cole Fine Art. Likewise, thank you for having us here of course, my pleasure. and my pleasure. introducing Dawson Cole Gallery onto the Purple Row. Yeah. Everybody, this is Michelle McDonald Jason, our lovely gallery director who is going to be giving us a tour and delighting us with all this beauty today. <laughs> well, welcome, welcome everyone. Yeah, well as I said, I'm delighted to have you here. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we are very proud to um, have such a large collection of Richard McDonald work. Mm -hmm. Really honored because Richard is uh, a world-renowned artist. You have to be here, guys, to see this, because this is breathtaking. In a, a number of different genres. So he works uh, always with the live model. So these dancers are professional dan dancers. They come into a studio and work with him live. Wow. Richard does not work from the photographs at all. So how do you scout your dancers? Or do you guys kind of look for them when they come to you? <laughs> oh, it's a combination. He gets yeah. people coming to him all the time. Oh, awesome. But at this stage of his career, he's worked with like professional, like London Royal Ballet dancers, um, you know, a lot of professional dancers. So it runs the gamut. And then um, he does a lot of work with Cirque du Soleil. Cirque du Soleil is one of the most successful theatrical producers in the history of the entertainment industry. Exciting. So he actually gets to see these contortionists in front of him and yeah. I'm sure like gosh how fun for him to work and see that I'm, I'm sure he's in oh, awe yeah. every single time to see what they can do right absolutely and for him <laughs> as I said they can do things that we can't do so for him I mean it's like a playground You know, sometimes he's got something in mind and he asks them to do something. Other times they come in and do what they do. Yeah. And he captures something that's really of interest to him and that's what he decides to translate and capture in bronze. Richard asked me the best check I could give him is like. <laughs> right. yeah. How about that, Richard? Yeah. Yeah. You can do it. Try it again, Danny. Yeah. 
Well, and you know, for him, it's beyond the anatomy, it's the movement, the emotion, the energy. And so oh, yes. that's why it's so important for him to work live. Something like this, this is years and years in the making. Wow. Um, and so there are pieces that he's gonna be finished in a short period of time, maybe a few months. Mm -hmm. Other pieces are 10, 15, 20 years in the making. Oh so gosh. it really depends on the piece. Like wine and diamonds, huh? That's right, <laughs> yeah. So let's see more of the collection, because now I, I see like some here. I'm telling you guys, there's Gallery U, turn 360, there's so much to see, it's amazing. Yeah. Well, as I continued to explore with Michelle, my fascination just grew more and more. I especially stared at these lifelike sculptures and wondered, what would they say if they just came to life right now? <laughs> I could imagine a feisty one saying, what are you looking at? <laughs> but that's how real they looked. Wow, I've never felt so enchanted like this before. It was as if I was in their world. I'm certainly glad Michelle was patient with me as I oohed and awed over every work of art in the Dawson Cole Gallery. Michelle, if this guy could say something, if he was talking right now, what would he be saying? What would his expression be saying right now? What do you think? I did it. I did it. <laughs> <laughs> what he's doing here is called the 540 Revolution and uh, not something that many dancers can do. This is a time lapse of uh, Richard in the studio, and you can see there's one model in the foreground that he's working with, there's another model in the background warming up. Wow. You can see all the different pieces that are in process in a studio. And the other thing is, you can't quite tell from here, but everything is on wheels. So oh. we just missed that part. Everything's on wheels. So again, when the model is moving, he wants to be able to move with that model. So he's, he's, in, he's like fully entrenched in what he's doing yes. with that. So his pursuit of excellence is really running parallel with those that he is actually sculpting. I've seen him work with surf performers where he's taken his hand and he's put his hand like in here so he can feel what's happening inside the body. Yeah. And then I also wanted to share, since we're on this side of the gallery, um, we do carry uh, or represent a small select group of painters in addition oh, okay. to Richard. Yeah. So on this side of the gallery and in the center of the gallery, you're going to see some oil paintings um, here. These, these are still licensed. 